Today we've got the brand new Crown Zenith Galarian Bird Trio tins featuring Galarian Moltres, Galarian Zapdos, and Galarian Articuno. Definitely my favorite of the three. I'm gonna crack all of these open and get the promo cards out and get the packs out. And yeah, let's open up all these packs. All right, so we got all of the promo cards out now. Let's have a look at these promos. I honestly really love all three of these. The Articuno is definitely my favorite. I think the colors on it look amazing. Zapdos is pretty cool as well, and the Galarian Moltres, also really awesome. But let's jump right into these packs. We've got 15 Crown Zenith packs. And Crown Zenith is a set with just an absolute ton of bangers that you can pull. Here are all the code cards as well for all the tens. So there you go. But yeah, let's just start ripping these open and see if we can pull something amazing. There's so many things in here that we can get. I'm looking for mostly stuff from the, the gallery cards, the Galarian Gallery or Trainer Gallery or whatever, because I think those are the best for sure. But here we go with the first pack. We'll do four to the back as always. And we've got Fire Energy, Carnivine, a nice cute Shanks there. Uh, reverse Yanma and our first rare. It's gonna be a Charizard V. Pretty nice half pull there. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the regular Vs and things like that just because there's so much better stuff we can get out of this set. I've had a ton of luck opening Crown Zenith before on the channel and just on my own as well. I love this set. I think it's definitely a great way to end off the Sword and Shield era and I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next in Scarlet and Violet. Let me know in the comments what cards you guys are looking forward to most for that set. We got a Reverse Aaron and a Zama Zentahalo. Not bad. On to the third pack. Obviously, these packs are all going to have the same artwork. I think that's really weird that they didn't make more artworks for this set. I know there are some sets that just don't get different artworks, but I think this one definitely would have been a cool one to have some variety. But here in our third pack, we got the V-Star Energy. Uh, reverse Executor and a Luxray non hollow. I'm also curious what kind of stuff you guys have pulled from Crown Zenith. I know there's a ton of things you can get from the gold cards, the trainer gallery, and just a bunch of like alternate arts and whatnot. So I'm curious to see what you guys have managed to pull so far. But here we go on this next pack. We get a Swablu from the Galarian gallery. That's really cute. And a Zerud hollow. Definitely super happy to pull this one. I haven't gotten it yet, and I'm definitely still trying to complete the uh, Galarian Gallery set. So really nice card to pull and super cute. On to our fifth pack of Crown Zenith. So far, nothing spectacular. Just a couple of nice hits and mostly gotten hollows as well, which is definitely a good sign. Here we go on pack number five, Grass Energy. A reverse Entei, I think that's a rare, that's pretty nice. And a Lycanroc non-holo. So we're already through one tin worth of packs and we didn't really get much. Hopefully we get a couple more bangers from this next lot of packs here. There's a code card. And we got another Grass Energy. Another Shanks there. Oh wow, a Radiant Charizard. That is awesome, I don't have one of these yet. Super happy to pull that. Our rare is nothing special, but man, this Radiant Charizard is sweet. I know a lot of people are after that one because obviously it's Charizard and it's shiny Charizard, which is sick. But yeah, super happy with that. All right, on to the next pack. Let's see what we can get out of this one. But this pack, oh wow. Hatterene VMAX Galarian Gallery. I'm, I guess this is an alt art, I'm not sure. And a Fighting Energy Secret Rare. Nice little double pull there. This Hatterene is so cool. I didn't even know about this card. Wow. The more I look at this, the more I fall in love with this card. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Super cool. On to our next pack here of Crown Zenith. Now we're really cooking. We've got a couple of nice hits from this next five here. I did separate them by 10, but I'm not sure which is which. So I'm just going by the group of five. Here we go on this pack. We got Lightning Energy there. A Reverse Raihan with the signature and a Yon Mega Non-Hollow. 
You know, when I first started opening packs again, I thought the signed autograph trainer cards were like special. So I was like sleeving every single one of them. But now that I know how much more common they really are, I'm not too impressed anymore. <laughs> but for this pack, let's see what we can pull. It's a reverse Dusclops and another Yon Mega non hollow. Damn. Here we go for the last pack of this group of five. There's a code card, and for this pack, we've got Steel Energy and a Bisharp as well. Oh, a Duskull Galarian Gallery card and a double non hollow. Another one of the character rares that I was missing and part of that group. I forget how many there are. I think there are nine total. I'm not sure, but. I love Duskull and this card is super sweet. All right, so we're down to our last five packs of Crown Zenith. Lots of really cool stuff we've pulled so far. I'd love to see one of those gold cards in one of these packs. But I think my biggest chase card for sure is the Suicune. I would love to pull that. Here's a code card. And this time we've got a Water Energy. An Electivire Galarian Gallery card. That is super cool. I love how cartoonish it looks. We've got another non hollow there for the rare. That is a really cute card. <laughs> I love the cartoonish look to that. That's super cool. But you see what I'm saying? There's just so many pulls you can get from this set. Even like the half pulls that aren't super, super amazing are still really cool. And it feels like almost every pack or every other pack, there's something there. Next pack, we've got a Darkness Energy, Friends in Sinnoh, a Reverse Cherubi. Oh, and a Zero Aura V Max. I think I've got this one already, but definitely cool to see another one of these. Zero Aura is honestly really cool, and this is a really nice V Max for him as well. All right, we've only got three packs left. Let's see what else we're able to find in these last three packs. And we've got Grass Energy, Aaron, Corfish, Scyther. Oh! An Entei V, part of the Galarian Gallery. Nice Entei alt art there. Another Hollow Zamazenta, but that is a sweet Entei card. The Hollow on the Volcano looks really, really good. Sweet card. Second to last pack of Crown Zenith now. Can't really tell if these Galarian bird tins are doing much better than some of the other Crown Zenith products. I think for sure the ETB was the worst for me. But let's see what we get on this second to last pack now. We got a bunch of crap. Reverse Executor and another Lycan Rock. Pretty big dud there on that last pack. But here we go with the final pack of Crown Zenith. Let's see if we can end things off strong. Really don't want to see another normal reverse here or another non hollow. There's your final code card. And we've got. Lightning Energy, Rare Candy, a Reverse Grubbin, and a Glaceon V to end things off. Not the best pull, but that art is really cool. And I love Glaceon, so that is pretty sweet. So that's it for our opening of the new Crown Zenith Galarian Bird Tins. We got a Glaceon V, Zero Aura V Max, Entei V Alt Art, that Zamazenta Hollow, Electivire, Duskull and Swablu, all from the Galarian Gallery. This Fighting Energy Hollow, Radiant Charizard, another Zamazenta Hollow, Zerud, Charizard V, and then obviously the beautiful promo cards. Let me know what you guys think of these new promo tins. Have you gotten your hands on them? Have you done well with them? And yeah, subscribe for more Pokemon.